I'll try to get you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I tried. Thanks for coming down this morning. Oh, well, we've got a busy agenda, so I think we better get to it. As many of you are aware, we met here last Thursday morning with a bipartisan leadership of Congress. We had a spirited discussion on several issues. In my view, the most important part of that exchange had to do with our deficit reduction objectives. Certain Democrat leaders indicated that the only way to attack this deficit monster was on the revenue side of the ledger. Others suggested that defense was going to, again, have to pay with one of the other cuts. Some stated the budget I submitted in early January would not achieve the deficit reduction goal for 88 of the Grand Rep. and Holland Law. Last, I disagreed on that. Some of those points. Yeah. I remember <laughs> very good, too. <laughs> but lastly, some indicated that we should have a budget summit to work out our differences. It's my view that the, my budget meets the Grand Rutland Holland's deficit reduction goals for 88. And further, as I've said before, my budget was submitted in a timely fashion in accordance with that same statute. And I think that it's important for the Congress to come up with this budget resolution in a similar timely fashion if we're to avoid the problem of having spending bills for the entire government rolled into one gigantic continuing resolution. Again. Also, there have been press reports suggesting significant inconsistencies between our OMB projections on the deficit level for 88 and the CBO projections. And I'd like to ask Jim Miller to outline for you our deficit reduction plans and also to touch on these different deficit level projections between the uh, Office of Management and Budget and the Congressional Budget Office. Jim? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, the estimate uh, that OMB has for the current. Right here. Right here. Don't move.